just to make Insania sweat a bit. And oh, oh, the uh, okay. Well, nice call, Toby. Toby, where Pudge needs to gauge whether he can go for a kill or not. Um, and if he can, and lands a hook, it probably just gets it. Oh boy. Insania. Insania disposed, and first blood this time goes to Aster. Look at this late in the tournament. Shocking. Yeah, and it. Oh. There's that trade-off. Trade Ori is going for it. with the rod. We got a TP coming in, but Boxy is a little too late. Gets the ice shards off. He's level Water one, rune though. is popped by Ori, and it looks like he's fine. Wants a high five. Will he get a high five back? Definitely it's not even taking into account that there's a Marcy on your team that has not even bothered to help out in mid lane because they don't need to because he's winning that. And now they're going to go on top of Insania again as Matu. Trying to deal some damage to Boboka, but it looks like Insania will be the death for Liquid again. 0-2 thus far. Like, you're gonna hit level 3 now as well, Ori will. Uh, Zai, they're gonna go on top of Monet here. Looks like they'll find the kill first before Zai ends up being the trade. So, favoring Liquid here. But Ori's taking a lot of damage here, so we'll see. He has 10 wand charges right now. It is power rune time, though. Yeah, there six, it is. And he's going right, to go for go it right away. Immediately, here comes the snowball to try to cancel it, but the damage is already done. And Mickey, another TP to come out from Insania. Mickey dies first, though, as Boboka is the one technically getting credit for that one. Zai, in the meantime, has to TP back to Fountain. That's pretty old school. That's not a build we see rebound right now. Insania is... Eventually, surely, surely, Crystal Maiden doesn't run away from somebody. Surely, he is dead. They want Ori to try to get these Flesh Heap stacks. The hook connects, and Ori gets another Flesh Heap stack to his name, which is now at three. But yeah, that might Lincoln. be the longest that Maiden <laughs> escaped from King ever. So that was like, I thought it was slow motion at first. Yeah. Oh, Big zip in Boboka. with a connection from Boxy. They're focusing on Boboka. They get him. They get a little bit low on mana as Ori is now TP'd in. Looking for a connection of their own. So this play probably does not actually exist for Liquid. Hook. Matsu with a quick wave form. They could just go for the tier one tower. On top of the Omni Knight potentially. <clears throat> Gets off the of Hemily's Grace, but Boxy. He's the one kind of isolated right now. The snowball is going to buy him a little bit of time, but he's just going to get right clicked by Monet. So a really easy kill here for Master. And yeah, I'd like to go on the Omni, but just not possible. Oh, we got Ori. He's going to get the dismember up, but that's against another punch named Matu. Trying to get off a little bit of damage here, but he's going to get Ice Path inside the macro pyre, hook back into the fray, and down goes Matu. Zip back in, but... Now the Heavenly Grace comes out as Mickey has to walk away in shame. Aster here in numbers. Not sure if they see Insania, but... Yeah, he's got no resources left. He's a pig. Oh, this is one way Maiden can escape for yeah. a few seconds, but now she's... Oh, potential! Oh! Crystal Maiden jukes in slow motion, but XXS is here. And again, the longest chase of Insania's life, but he... A little bit of space. I yeah, would think it's impossible me. for him to beat his record from two minutes ago, but <laughs> that if you're a maiden, you take that. That feels pretty good, actually. Yeah, for sure. Oh, split of the connection. There's Matu coming in with the waveform. Monet's just gonna get right clicked down in the Oblivion, but Ori is coming into the fray as well. He's gonna get stunned right off the bat. It's just a three view versus one against this tanky pudge. Splitter connects. This is gonna be a huge kill for Liquid if they're able to grab him, and it looks like they will. A little bit late on the Heavenly Grace for Siamese Cat. So two Lincolns, there's like plenty of item builds you can go on this hero, but I'm just looking for the reasoning for the Lincolns. If it's, is it Dismember? Is it Dismember? Oh, Mickey zips oh, okay. in, but there's three members of Aster. He doesn't seem to give a crap about it. There goes the Guardian Angel, and Mickey's just going to get punished right off the bat. And Aster, super happy with this exchange as Insania. <laughs> Mate, um, Ori has queued up his next item. It's going to be the Blink Dagger. So, oh, they are going to go on him top here. Flesh Heap is going to try for it. Ice Shards blocking him in. Nobody nearby, but he's going to get the Dismember. Instantly canceled thanks to the Split Earth from Zai, but this rot is decimating them as Zai forced the TP out, but the hook back in. Split Earth is coming. He's faking it out. Doesn't do enough damage, though, as Zai can just be walked down on Ori with another stack of Flesh Heap that's up to seven. Yeah. Matter of the hero. On to the high ground, the hook connects. But, see Insania trying to get away, but some good moves. Not going to be enough, though. The split Earth onto the sniper is the rest of Liquid trying to get away in this bot lane. Shrapnel slowing him to a crawl. Zai continuing to get headshot. Do they have the stun? They do. 
Ori with a double kill across the map. Now top lane, looks like Liquid want to try to get something out of this. In case out of mana. He is, I don't know if he can get this kill. It has to TP out, will live, but no kill for Liquid at all. If Aster had any TP with a stun there, from Aster rotated, but again, Storm just doesn't have enough in the tank to solo even the Jakiro. XXS, that's who they want. Boxy has a blink dagger, Walrus punch as well, but XXX gets off his BKB and Unleash, and now he wants to fight because Ori has come to play. Matu, nice save on the Boxy. But it's gonna cost them the Crystal Maiden again. It could have been a lot worse for Liquid, but Aster able yeah. to keep their position three, Marcy alive. All things considered, that was not too terrible. Matu showing up with the Ags there. Definitely helping out against the Pudge. Oh, the zip in, they're trying to take out the Omni Knight. The hook from Matu, that is enough for a kill, but the instant decision from Ori, they delete Boxy from the map, so it's a one for one in this little mini engagement. The XXS, he's gonna get split Earth with Matu just right clicking him. Looks like that's gonna be enough with the adaptive strike as well. And Aster, like the will definitely expedite the high ground offense. Dyer's top, tower uh, is under attack. top lane was being pressured a bit by Monta. Actually forced out of fortification oh, nice. from Aster. Boxy there. But Ori, he wants to go in deep. Instant initiation, counter initiation from Liquid. Snowball connects, but zip in by Mickey pops the BKB as well. But he gets dismembered. He's gonna die inside the BKB. No! Zips away with just a sliver of HP. Now can go heal up in the fountain. Now that the BKBs are down on Aster, but the hook comes out from Ori. Zai gets off the bloodstone, but it matters not. The rot is too powerful. Now this Rax is under peril. They're still pretty sustainable, Aster, with the Omni Knight. A lot of the time, Storm in situations like this can start finding kills when heroes stick around for too long, but Aster are not phased, they're not worried. They have enough in the tank to keep the heroes safe. You even see the salve here from XXS gonna be up to full health again. And it's like nothing happened for Aster. The only thing that's really on cooldown here that matters is the Marcy BKB. Oh, the blink hook, dismember, death for Insania. Aegis is down, but this is gonna be a full set of racks now. Ori has a BKB. I mean, right, you know, it's hard to find that attack angle that Liquid need, and Aster are gonna constantly pressure this tower with Liquid Fire, with Shrapnel plus attacks from Sniper. Yeah, well, this dip on in, they wanna get the Omni Knight immediately, will they get him? He gets four steps to safety, there's the Guardian Angel just in time, and Mickey has to buy back after dying right off the bat, and Matu is dead as well. A terrible fight for Liquid, as the BKBs have come out from Aster, now they can just focus down Zai. Another death, another kill for Monet. Ultra kill overall. Ori wants another, if he gets it! Mickey completely out of mana as Monet trying to finish the job, but able to zip away is Mickey again, but Boxy slow to a crawl and a rampage! Monet just sitting in the back while his fat friend does all the work, and he gets five to his name. Having to reset, still with a minute 20 on the Aegis. Now they can just do the old sniper trick again. Get this tower kill. That's the biggest thing preventing them from getting into the high ground anyway, on top of the split earth, of course. Lincoln's is popped now. Hook not connecting again from Ori, but there's the punch from Boxy into the hook from Matu. Already half HP on Monet, but again, he still has the Aegis and Zai getting destroyed. My goodness, he melted. Freezing Field comes out just for a split second, but it matters not. A second death for Liquid. Hook on into Monet, but he gets a concussive grenade off again. And Liquid crumbling here in game number two. Aster coming back with a vengeance, looking to get the Mega Creeps. Buyback comes out on Matu as one last potential stand here from Liquid. Mickey not able to do too much. A nice Ice Path comes out into the dual breath. Oh. They find the Pudge finally, but how much is it gonna cost them? Boxy ticking away ever so slowly. Matu, the last remaining member of Liquid after the buyback now. He turns into Punch, or he's still Pudge, in fact. Has the Rot, just getting kited. Finally gets disposed back into the Ice Path. And there's, he's actually staying alive thanks to the Strength Morph. Has to reset back into the Fountain. Boxy has to be careful. This would be a dieback for him. He's gonna tick away. Matu had 6,000 health because he also had the Strength from Punch. That is a it's very beefy killing, boy as the Mega Creeps now here. come out. Aster, massive advantage here. GG still not called. It's only a matter of time here as the last tier four will fall. Matu and Zai trying to get something up. Really want to kill Monet now that the Aegis is gone, but the Ice Path is there. Hurricane Pike on top, and that is going to be the death of Liquid in game number two. So Aster, they come back really nicely.